Are you having a hard time figuring out what to get dad for Father's Day? You should check out Row One Brand's Vintage Pictorum Gallery. They have America's best sports art. With over 7,200 historic sports prints, you're assured to find something unique for dad this Father's Day. Instead of a boring old tie, get him a historic baseball photo taken by Henry High Sandum at the historic Polo Ground Stadium in New York City during the 1894 Temple Cup. Or, if he's an NFL buff, check out the 1963 vintage NFL poster. These are so good looking that you'll be amazed how they turn out. Shop now at sportshistorynetwork.com slash row one and save 15% off your order. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. The Pigskin Pass with Joe Zagorski. Topic, moving the hash marks. In the years prior to 1972, the hash marks, a spot where play from scrimmage begins, they were spread out fairly close to the sidelines in pro football. And in 1945, the hash marks were 20 yards away from the sidelines, and they stayed that way for 26 years. Then in 1972, the NFL rules makers and the competition committee decided to make a change. And they bring the hash marks closer to the middle of the field. The new hash marks in 1972 were 23 and a half yards from the sidelines. And they have remained that way to this very day. The distance that the hash marks are from each other is the exact distance that the goalposts are from each other. 18 feet and 6 inches. Now the idea to move the hash marks closer to the middle of the field was thought to have one significant result. It would open up the pro passing games. See, pro football was a running game since its inception. And the forward pass was still in use, but nowhere near as much as it is today. Defensive backs in the years prior to 1978 were allowed to practically beat up opposing wide receivers. A friend of mine, former Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Ken Burrow, once told me that in a game versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, he jumped up to try to catch a pass in the end zone, and he said that by the time his feet touched the ground, he felt that he had been in a fight with the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive backs. Well, funny thing happened on the way to moving the hash box in 1972, however. Sometimes the best of intentions have different results than what one would have planned. In 1972, the new placement of the hash marks gave a green light to the running game. A total of 10 running backs eclipsed the 1,000-yard mark in rushing in 1972, the highest number in the history of the game up to that time. Those runners include some famous players. They include O.J. Simpson of the Buffalo Bills, Larry Brown of the Washington Redskins, Ron Johnson of the New York Giants, Larry Zonka of the Miami Dolphins, Marv Hubbard of the Oakland Raiders, Franco Harris of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Calvin Hill of the Dallas Cowboys, Mike Garrett of the San Diego Chargers, John Brockington of the Green Bay Packers, and Mercury Morris of the Miami Dolphins. Now Dave Hampton of the Atlanta Falcons also topped the 1,000 yard mark, but only briefly. You see, on his last carry of the year, Hampton lost five yards on a pitch out and thus finished the 72 season with 995 yards. The moving of the hash marks was just one factor which found coaching staff scurrying for ways to take advantage of the new ball placement. But those strategical methods are another story for another time. Thanks for listening to the Pitskin Past. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. We here at the Sports History Network proudly partner with 26 podcasts, all revolving around the history of sports. But did you know that many of our hosts were sports history authors way before they started their shows? It's true. We've got Joe Ziemba, host of When Football Was Football. Joe Zagurski, host of Pro Football in the 1970s. Mark Morthier, host of Yesterday Sports. 
Tommy Phillips, host of Lombardi Memories, and Scott Adamson, co-host of From the 55-Yard Line. All these authors have many books for you to choose from. To check them out, go to our website at sportshistorynetwork.com slash sportshistorybooks. Pick up your copy today! Soundtrack provided by Kevin McLeod of filmmusic.io.